technical difficulties as normal. Right, bear with a second. Okay, I've zoomed in too much, but if I zoom out any more, oh, there we go, the whole desk. Oh, we're doing well, that'll do. We're just going to stay with that. We're going to stay with that. How are we everybody? How is everyone? How are you all doing? Now this is very zoomed in. I'm sorry about that, but it's going to have to stay like that because if I, if I try and alter this, I can guarantee you we will end up with um, problems. So, hi Vicky, hi Sally, hi Ginny. How are you all doing? Um, hope you're all okay. Right, we'll just wait for a few more people to come on. Um, yes. We're going to hopefully be doing three cards today, all variations of the same card. Um, I had, now you have to forgive me, my brain is just not working very well. I can't remember who sent me this. Um, I'm racking my brains now who sent me this. Oh, I didn't know as well. Somebody sent me either an email or an Instagram message or a some kind of message anyway, asking me about they just they got a die, and it made a pinwheel card, but they weren't sure how to put it together, and I'm apologise because I've forgotten your name and I've forgotten who it was that sent me this request. But anyway, we're doing that today, so we're basically doing the same. I haven't got the die, but I've made a panel that looks like the die, so we're going to make the pinwheel card. Hi Louise, hi Liz, hi Karen, hi everybody. So yeah, I can't remember who it was. If you're, I don't think you're on at the moment. Oh, who was it? You sent me that. Oh, so annoying. My brain doesn't work. Someone sent me a request for this. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> my brain is not working. Um, hi other Karen in New York. One in Arkansas. One in New York. Vicky in Oz. Fabulous, fabulous. It's nice and sunny here. Very cold. Freeze it. Well, not it's, compared to some people's cold, it's not that cold. But it was frosty this morning. So, oh, hello from Poland. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce your name um, because I will go very wrong. But hello from Poland. Um, yeah, and Karen from New York. I already mentioned you. Uh, yeah. So I am. Um, it's it's sunny here, and it, it was frosty this morning. Uh, it was cold. It still is cold. But not as cold as it has been. And not as cold as some people have got it. Hi Beth in Canada. Hi Louise. Oh, hello Louise. Hi Louise from Louise UK. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to join Louise. And sorry you couldn't make the um, the class yesterday. I meant to text you actually. But I will do after this live. I will text you if I remember. Um, who else we got? Lynn. Hi Lynn from Adelaide. And Giselle from Canada. A couple from Canada. Um... Karen, raining here in Arkansas, warm now, but getting colder later. Okay, not not great then. Um, hi, Susan from Northern California. Wow, what's the weather like in California at the moment? I'm sure it must be quite nice. I'm just so useless with geography. I'm so useless with what temperature it's supposed to be in what country at what time of the year. So you just have to bear with me, I'm afraid. I got like E for GCSE geography. So yeah, that tells you everything. Um, hi, Karen. Oh, cinnamon cake coffee this morning in Chile. cinnamon cake coffee now the cinnamon cake yes please coffee no thank you i don't do coffee so uh yeah but yeah cinnamon cake i'll be up for the cinnamon cake mm -mm -mm. and it's chilly in new york i know it can get really cold in new york so yes right we'll wait a few more well a minute or so and then we will make a start so as I was just saying, I can't remember who it was, but somebody sent me, and they're gonna, it's going to really annoy me, because I know it's somebody's name who I know, but I can't remember her name. So somebody sent me a, um, a comment underneath one of my, I think it was a comment under a video, or it was an email, or it was a message, I can't remember now what it was. But basically, that they had a pinwheel card die, and they weren't sure how to use it. And I looked at it and thought, ah. OK, so I made myself up a panel which looked exactly like what the die cuts out. And then I've managed to figure out how you do the pinwheel from it. And actually, it works out quite well. So um, that's what we're going to be doing today. And also, I quite like it because it means you can easily make it um, a square in the middle or you can make it a hexagon or you can make it an octagon. So that's what we're going to do. We're hopefully going to get through all three, the square, the hexagon and the octagon. 
and I've done a six by six for the square and then five by seven for the hexagon and the octagon. So hopefully we'll get to that. Um, Lynn, Adelaide was 29 degrees today. So gorgeous. Oh yeah, I, I could do with a bit of 29 degrees right now. Um, Karen, it's a flavoured coffee. Oh no, so I can't do coffee. I like the cinnamon cake idea, but I don't, don't do coffee. Um, Susan's been fairly nice through the day, 55 to 60. Again, I need to get myself a little thing that shows me what that is in centigrade because I've no idea in Fahrenheit. Um, but yeah, right, I think we'll make a start. I think we'll make a start. Right, so this is for the square one. So the square one looks like this. This is the four way, as it were. So this is the square one. Um, and so whoever it was who contacted me, and it's really annoying me that I can't remember your name. But whoever it was who contacted me about this, um, the die just cuts out a panel. And she sent me the video of the actual, that the company had made with the die. Um, and it's quite quick. It's all speeded up. So you can't really see what's going on. So I know we've done pinwheel cards before, but we haven't done them with this particular, this particular method. So basically, for this square one, you are going to need, let me put my little bits to one side. You're going to need four base pieces that are four by six. So the finishing footprint of this card is going to be a six by six. OK, so just so you know, I haven't worked out a five by seven for the square one yet, but um, I went for five uh, for six by six because it sort of worked better. So you need four pieces that are four by six. And on all of them, you're going to score them all um, at an inch along the short edge. Let me get my, my scoreboard in. So on the short edge here, you're going to score at an inch and do that on all four pieces. Hi, Cindy. You're just waking up. Well, I'm glad that you're, <laughs> I'm glad that you're awake. My goodness, you guys, you sacrifice. You get up early or go or come and, you know, join in late or whatever. Dear me. I don't know how you do it. Um, I know, Louise, me too. I need cake too now. Um, hi, Kobe. Uh, right, so that's our four pieces done. So that's what the die cut out. So the die that this lady had, it just cut out a panel like that with like a, a panel on one side. I don't know if you can see those. You might not be able to see the scoreboards. I'm not sure. Sally, was it you that sent me this? I'm not sure, Sally, if this was you. This might have been you. Um, yes, Karen, there is a die for just a rectangle with a score line in it. I know. I looked at it and was like, OK, then. Yes, there is. You'd be very surprised at what kind of dies people actually produce. This is why I remember someone saying to me about a card that I did one time years ago. And they were like, oh, you should make a die for that. And I'm like, number one, where would I even go to even think about what, how you make a die? And number two, why would you make a die? Um, so, yeah. 4.37 in the morning, Susan. My Goodness gracious me. Well, you're a diehard crafter. Goodness me. So anyway, so you go ahead and <laughs> go ahead and burnish all of your lines. So this is what your die cuts out. And it cuts out this. Um, this is why I just thought, you know what, let's just do it. And then you can make your own. So you end up with four panels all like that okay so then what we need to do now I need to bring mine in because I just need to remember how to do this okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to put some I'm going to use wet glue you can use um no Sally it might not have been you don't worry I can't somebody has sent me a message or something on a YouTube video or an Instagram or an email and I can't for the life of me think who it was um, about this so they had basically a, they got a die and it cuts this out with a score line on it and it's for a pinwheel die and they weren't sure how to put it together so that's why I'm doing this video and I also then it spurred me on to then come up with other ones not just a four way I've got a six way and an eight way so yeah it probably wasn't you but I don't know who it was um hi uh who was I saying hello to hi um I've already said have I said hello to Susan Susan in California, I think I've already said hello to you, but hello anyway. And hi to Marianne in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. Very nice. Um, and also hi to Linda in Bristol. Yes, we've got sunshine and cold too. Um, Lynn just after 11pm in Adelaide. Oh, your daughter's moved us to London. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Okay, cool. Oh, it's just moved to London. Okay, no, that's not nice for you. <laughs> that's too far. There's me getting confused. Um, 
Good. I'm glad this helps you feel closer. We're not. We're about two hours of drive away from London, so we're not that far. Right. So you take your panel and you mountain fold them all, and then on this flap here, you're just gonna tape or glue. You can use um, red tape. I like to use wet glue because then I've got a bit of time to kind of get it in into place. And then you want to take your a second panel, open it up, and that crease line there is what you want to line this cut edge up into. So if we just turn this over, you're going to stick that onto there like that. Now, apologies if this is dark card and you can't really see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can. Then um, I will be doing ones with paler card. So you've ended up with that. So this is card. That's one of the cards. And then this is the other bit of card there. So you can see what I've done. It kind of stuck it next to the one in front. Okay, so then we're going to do the same, get another one. Again, put glue on this top of the mountain fold, just on that tab side. Like that. And then if you open this up, so this is your, like the top of the tab, this, this piece here, there's a tab here. So you're going to stick it here. So this bit needs to go in that crease line. There, like that. Okay, I'm hoping that this makes sense. So if I open it up, can you see how it's starting to come together? So you've got this piece here, and then you've got this piece here, and then you've got that piece there. Okay, so now we're going to stick the next one in. So we we'll just open up, we're going to stick the next piece in here. Right, let me stick this one down. I'm going to get my glue again, add some glue to this tab. I'm going to look at everyone's comments in a minute when I finish sticking the base piece together. And then again, this cut edge here needs to line up with that crease line there. So we're going to put this in, make sure obviously it's level top and bottom. Stick it in like that. And so you should end up with that, which is the start of your pinwheel, hopefully. Okay. And then the trickiest bit is that we're now going to stick this piece here into there. So that bit needs to line up with the crease line. And I've decided that the easiest way of doing this is if you kind of lay it so it's like that. So this piece is actually flat. This is one piece. Lie that so that's flat. And then you just fold that down on it. And then that way as well, you know it's going to fold flat in the envelope. So let's just put this on here like that. And then we are going to ooh, just shut that one onto it. So that's actually folded kind of over. You fold, that's the fold line of this one here. I probably should have done different colours, shouldn't I? And then you would be able to see it better. And then when you open it up, there's your pinwheel. So that's what you do with it. So that's the four way. Okay, now I'm going to decorate it up. I'm not going to put happy birthdays on whatever, but I have got matte and layers for it. So at least you know what the matte and layer sizes are. Right, let's check on comments while I was doing that. I wasn't looking. Um, Linda Roberts, your son is emigrating to Canada in April. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. That's not good. Um, yeah, it must be difficult. Thank you, Vicky, for the conversion link. <laughs> I need to I need to stick it on my on my uh, printer. Um, yeah, you will be missing them, definitely. And also with, obviously, the time difference as well. Uh, thank you, everybody. Yes, I wondered how it was how it was all going to go together, Lynn, as well. It did take me a little, little bit to um, work it out. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. So that is how you put that together. So then to decorate, you're going to need four mat pieces that are uh, two and three quarter by five and three quarter. And on top of them... You're going to need now you're only going to need three pattern pieces because one of them needs to be white so you're going to need three pattern pieces and one white piece that are two and a half by five and a half so we're going to go ahead and stick these down um thank you lynn well it's not too bad it you just have to get your head around it now what i would advise you do is do what i did 
make yourself up a scrap version so get yourself some card i've got like um a couple of well i say a couple i've got a few pads of 12 by 12 which i've been given and i'm not that keen on i don't i'm never going to use them um they're kind of very old quite a lot of them are sort of distressed yeah they're not my thing um but they're about a two 200 gsm 230 gsm and so they're perfect for making up little sample cards like this so then at least you know you know so i've got literally off to this side here you can't see it i've got a whole a4 notepad with all of my uh, measurements in and on the back of each page i stick the flattened version of the card that, that the measurements are for so then when i come along to it at least i know what i'm doing and i know what it looks like so i had to look at that just now to work out how to stick that together so yeah it's um it's one of those right let's stick these on uh i'm gonna have to use tape for this because that's glitter card and i think well, it's glitter paper and i think it's gonna not do very well with the glue let me grab my pin right what we got um what we got hi Teresa. good to see you um and nola hi nola you're glad i'm doing this good i'm, I'm glad you're, you're glad i'm doing this <laughs> i'm glad you managed to make it uh, thank you, Liz. I'm glad that you, it, it was well explained. I didn't feel like I felt like I was making a bit of a mess of it, but I'm glad that it was well explained. Um, who else have we got? Karen. OK, see you, Karen. Your groceries been delivered. OK, happy crafting and you can always catch the replay. So, yeah. Um, you like the fancy folds, Linda? Yeah, me too. I love fancy folds. I <laughs> love a good fancy fold. Can't beat a fancy fold. And it's funny as well because I saw one recently, a double diamond fold card. Um, and I can't remember, I saw it on Pinterest and was like, oh, I need to make that. And then I noticed that I think it was yesterday, Sam from Mixed Up Crafts, she's actually made it. So I'm like, oh, I need to do it. Um, yeah, I was planning to do one, but she got there before me, which is fine. Absolutely fine. So, yeah. Right, let's stick this down. These papers, I'm sure you can all guess where these papers are from. These papers are from Antonio Makes. And this is her, his um, lavender and citrus, I think it's called, papers. And I just thought they're really nice. I haven't really used them yet. So I thought, right, today's the day to use them. Um, oh, yeah, Zoom crafting. That's a good idea. I do that with my my craft class we used to meet in person but then since covid we kind of lost our venue and uh yeah i haven't better find another one and so we do it over we craft over well it's actually meet google meet we used but it's the same kind of thing same kind of thing so it's always good right let me do this oh i know what i was going to ask you as well when i'm sticking these down so I was looking through for sentiments for this card and I've got quite a lot of, I've got like a few folders where I put like A4 sheets of like hunky dory sentiments and whatever. But I seem to have quite a lot that are just, that are not happy birthday or get well or thank you or happy anniversary. They're things like, um, I don't know, if friends were flowers, I'd pick you and all this kind of thing and with love, best wishes, all that kind of thing. Um do you guys use sentiments other than happy birthday what's your you know what do you normally use like i'm presume, i mean other than other than the usual happy birthday and happy anniversary and blah blah, blah the ones that are slightly more off piece do you use them so when they come in a pack do you use them that's what i want to know because i don't and <laughs> i don't know what to do with them because some of them are sort of verses i know people like verses but i struggle if it's on a on a topper so what if it's a stamp because you can kind of plug it in google meet yeah it's what was duo so duo is what it used to be and now it's changed to google meet uh and it's just basically a vid you can do video calls on it they've changed it because on duo you couldn't i know when we first started doing it you couldn't have more than i think it was like six people or eight people on a call so for craft classes it was a bit of a problem um but now they've changed it to me i think you can they've i don't know if there's even a limit now but i know you can have more than you could have had so yes thank you linda they are beautiful papers aren't they i really like them i really like the uh i wouldn't have thought of putting lilac and um yellow together but actually they really go and they're giving me very much spring vibes 
<laughs> I have to say. They are reminding me of the spring. Daffodils and crocuses is what I'm thinking. Daffodils and crocuses. Um, yes, exactly, Louise. I'm the same. I, I love the idea of using them, but I never do. That's exactly where I'm at. So I've got a whole load of, of like folders of sentiments and it's annoying because the actual like the pictures around them like the flowers and the whatever um they look really nice and you know and i'm just like why does it have to say something random on it like i'm not gonna i'm not that kind of gooey gooey person i'm just not that person i'm just not sally yeah you're the same as me you don't have friends you do you have us you have us crafty friends you might only see us once a week but um you know with your crafty friends with your crafty family um New disease, happy birthday. Yeah, get well, new home. Yeah, yeah, that's the same as me. Simple. I just want simple stuff. But I've noticed how, especially like with, um, I'm trying to think, when I used to work for do crafts and trim craft and the amount of like just random greetings. I'm like, why can we not just have happy birthday, please? Or, you know, I don't mind best wishes or with love because I can stick a happy birthday somewhere else if I need to. Or just to say, that's fine. I don't mind just to say, because again, again, you can put a happy birthday in. But when it starts getting all flowery, I just, I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't do it. Right. So that's, that's going to be the front panel. And then there's your back bit where you're going to write. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're also going to put our mats and layers on here as well. So for this, you're going to need four mat panels that are one and three quarter by five and three quarter and four pattern pieces at one and a half by five and a half. And again, these are all Antonio makes his um, papers again. But I figured, and I went a bit off piece, and I wasn't sure if it was going to work, and I think it will when it's all together. But I didn't use the same mat, and I normally would. But because this is a yellow paper background, and that's a lilac, I thought, let's switch over the mats. So it's a bit, I'm, I'm going a bit, being a bit daring here. In fact, I can use glue on this because it's a normal card. Um, I can use glue on this. Yeah, so this is a bit of a risk, but I figured that this lilac card is not the same as that background, which it should have been. I think I probably just didn't have any. But anyway, we're risking it. We're going for it. Because these two papers are in the same pack. So I was like, well, they need, they definitely go together. So I just need to, but that yellow with this paper wasn't working. Wasn't working. Uh, yeah and also sorry sally getting back to what you were saying to be honest i've not got a lot of like friend friends like proper you know proper friend friends um but i do have one very good friend who i call we speak each day every single day we text each other we voice note each other every single even if it's like random like what we've had for breakfast we'll take we'll you know what i mean <laughs> we text each other so i think i can manage if I've, as long as i've just got that one friend i'm happy you know it's fine um, I have got other friends, but I don't call them all the time. But yeah, I think it's fine. Um, they went one by one. Sally, you can't say once I got... Oh, Ill. That, see, that's not... You know what, Sally? If you've got friends that are going because you're ill, they're not friends. I'm sorry, they're not friends. Friends stick by you, depending on... You know what I mean? No matter what. They should stick by you no matter what. And I know it is difficult, but they should. I know I was going through a very difficult time at one point. Um, and I was just, I couldn't keep on contacting this particular friend. And she was a bit like, you know, well, then you're obviously not a friend. And I was like, look, I'm just busy at the moment. I mean, like, I'm just busy. Uh, you know, I would understand it if you were just busy. I'm just busy. So could you just please have a bit of understanding? And thankfully she did. And we're still friends, as I said, to this day. And we contact each other every day. Um, but she did have a moment of strop, but we got through it. So, yeah. So there's the four by four anyway. So all that needs now is maybe a greeting on the front. If you wanted to put other things, you could. But because this is quite busy, I'm probably just going to stick with the topper on the front and that's it. But as I said, I haven't sorted any toppers out for this. So that I'm just going to leave them like that. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll decorate them off camera. And then I'm going to do a video for this anyway, because I've got some other ideas for these um, different ways of mixing it up. So you haven't just got to have a, a plain rectangle, just something a bit different. So I will put 
you'll see the uh, when you when the video comes out, you'll see the, what I've done with it. So that's the square one. So let's move on now then to the hexagonal one. One card down, two to go. So with that particular die, or if you haven't got the die, you can just make panels. This is for the hexagonal one. Now this is a five by seven. And this one looks like that when it's all up. Okay, so it's hexagonal. And I really, I like this one. I love the hexagonal one. I think the next one we're going to do is my favourite one. Yes, Vicky, Antonio's papers absolutely rock. They really do. I love them. I love them. In fact, as well, let me quickly show you. You know the, um, let me just take a quick interlude. Quick commercial break. Well, not commercial break, but you know what I mean. You know the 5 by 7 triple E's card that I did, this one? using the um using the uh wave dies and the peel offs for this card um somebody mentioned as well about me wanting to see me do one that wasn't that was more of a just a, a normal theme so i have done one in my craft we did this in my craft class yesterday and so voila is the one i made in craft class and again, Antonio makes his papers. It's very difficult to hold up and hold in at the same time. But anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, so that is the other one. Um, Lynn, good night. Good night. It's 11.30 p.m. Yeah, go go for it. Go to sleep. <laughs> you can always catch up on the replay. Um, yeah, so there we go. So yeah, so that is my alternative version. So it just goes to show that you can just do plain rectangles, uh, now, I've made a bit of a mistake on this because I've used plastic moulded flowers. That's a bit of a problem, but I'll just put some... Um, I'm just going to put some foam in there. But yeah, but just to go to show you, you can just make it a normal, just a normal easel card. Karen, was it you? Yeah, it might have been. So um, yeah, you can just do it. And this is Antonio makes his papers again. This was from one of the VIP kits, I think. And then that's the... Uh, Coco Rose Studio die, one of the most recent ones, and then these papers were Dovecraft, I think. But yeah, so they have just another another way of doing it. Right, anyway, back to the uh, schedule. I'll put that one back down again. Back to the schedule. Put that over there. Right, so the hexagonal one. This is gonna be uh, again when it folds flat, it's a five by seven. So with that in mind, you are gonna need six panels that are four inches by five inches and then alongside the short edge again you're going to score again at one inch so let's put these in so i'm going to score these at one inch on the four inch edge thank you sydney thank you louise um I always forget who's requested what, who sent me what message. I, I just, I get, yeah. I don't know if Rita Retro's on today. I don't think she is. But um, I've got a, uh, I've had a request from, from Rita Retro and I'm struggling with it. So. <laughs> so we'll have to bear. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so there's your um, panels all scored. And we're going to do the same again. We're going to mountain fold them all. So we go ahead and mountain fold. Now for the video, when I do this as a video, I've got an interesting idea for this and it uses those wave dies. Um, but if you've got border punches, you could do the same thing. Obviously, you don't know what I'm talking about right now, but when you see the video, you will. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different things you can do. Hi, Sandra. In Canada, We've got three people from Canada. Fabulous. Okay, so there we go. So that is all of our pieces all folded up, and we're going to do the same again. So I'm going to turn them over. Uh, that'll be my first piece. This is my second piece. So on here, and you'll be able to see it easier this time around. Um, so. Let's just put some glue along this edge here. If you want to use tape, you can, but I just find glue a bit easier. And then we're going to take this, and we're literally going to do what we did with the four. 
the four-way one except for we're going to do it with all six pieces so it really is very easy and that's what i liked about this actually i didn't realize this was a way of doing it and it wasn't until as i said whoever it was sent me that message i then thought hmm let me try and give it a go and see and and actually i prefer it to the way i did my pinwheel card and subsequent other people i don't think i've seen anybody else do the pinwheel card this way there probably are people out there there's bound to be but um apart from the people who made the die i don't know of anybody else so we're literally going to keep on adding glue onto the tab and then sticking it next to the uh the one we've just done in that score line okay so hopefully that's okay if anybody needs me to explain it again please let me know but hopefully you're kind of seeing how straightforward it is and quick as well it's quite quick to uh put together so and it's i like this card as well because when you when you get send it to somebody it's quite obvious what they have to do with it it's not particularly baffling like oh what do i do with this you can kind of see when you open it up you can kind of see that it's it kind of pops up by itself doesn't it really right so that's the last one like that okay so then what we want to do is stick the whole thing together so you've got that so far move me little glue strings any glue strings on the bottom no so you've got that so far and then what we're going to do again is we're going to lay it flat uh there i think i try and lay it flat so that this one there's only one tab and then there's a big panel there's no extra it's not like that for example it's like that okay so try and lay it flat so that um yeah so it's kind of like that and then we're gonna put some glue on here and then fold this bit over like that and that will stick the whole thing together um oh that's nice cindy fabulous oh. <laughs> You did, obviously did them well. You obviously replicated them well. You did well with them. Fabulous. So then you end up with that, which is your hexagonal. So just to make it squish a little bit. So there's your hexagonal one. So for this one to decorate, you are going to need... Uh, now again, I've made a, have I made a mistake with this one? Oh, I just need a white piece. I haven't cut myself a white piece out. So you need six matte panels that are two and three quarter by four and three quarter and onto them you need uh five pattern panels that are two and a half by four and a half and then one white card that's two and a half by four and a half i haven't got around to the white card yet so i need to do that but i'm going to go ahead and stick those on anyway let me stick those on and then we'll come to the other ones uh oh let me use glue it's easier uh, hi Beth, uh, you're in Ontario, Cari oh well, in Onta Ontario, 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 yeah. Um, my brain cells are kind of leaking out my brain today. Right, let's get this on. Now again, I haven't cut out any greetings for these again because I just thought I want to get through all three cards. And uh, oh, uh, on there, I want to get all through all three cards. And so let me just not bother. And also because I quite like sticking sentiments on after I've made them, I feel like I can't see what kind of sentiment or what kind of top or whatever I need. Um, if I haven't put it together. So that's another reason why I haven't done it. Um, Sally, yeah, don't worry. I'm going to make the eight, the octagonal one in a minute. So it'll be exactly the same process again, but just you're sticking eight down rather than four or three. So you'll see in a moment, um, if you missed that one just then, then I will show you in a minute. And also the video will be coming out soon, probably in a week or so. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm hoping to do it after I've done this live stream, maybe, or later on, or tomorrow. But it'll be definitely, with this week, I'll be filming it and then scheduling it probably for... 
I don't know, at some point, whenever I schedule it for. Right, so let's get gluing. Oh, I need to make sure I stick the one with the message. Actually, no, it doesn't matter because it's all the same. Oh, did I not do one? A plain one. Oh, I didn't do a plain one. <laughs> okay. So I think with this one. Oh no, I did do a plain one. One of the one of the cards I've forgotten not to do a plain one, and I've I've just literally got patterns all the way. So yes. Um I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I have to make another panel. I was trying to make sure that your panels, these ones, were as big as I could possibly make them with fitting within the card size, the foot, you know, the footprint size. Because you don't want some tiny little piece to write on. You need something, you know, decent-ish size to use. Right, and then this is going to be the one that's got the white card on. Let me, um, I'm going to stick this on first. And then I'm going to stick the white card. And I haven't cut my white card. So, actually, I might leave that blank then for now. And I'll stick that on after. You guys don't need to see me sticking on a piece of white card. You know roughly what I'm doing with it. So that will have my sentiment on it eventually. Okay, so that's that. So if that's the back, it means that this must, there's the back, that must be the front. Okay. So then for these pieces here, you need six pieces that are one and three quarter by four and three quarter and six pattern pieces that are one and a half by four and a half. So mats are one and three quarter by four and three quarter. Patterns are one and a half by four and a half. So these are going to go on here. And this is actually a, a pad from Trimcraft. And I can't what it's called. Mermaid something or other. I know somebody's going to ask me. Uh, this one, Beyond the Shore. Beyond the Shore. So this is this one. This has um, been around a while, this has, but it's beautiful. Really nice pad. I really like the purple and the teals in it. So that's what these papers are. The matte card that I used was from Lime Tree Crafts. They're based in the UK and uh, they do really good card. And I like them for like, you know, basing up, stocking up on basic colours. Um, and so, yeah, the purple is from them. The teal card, which I've used for my base here, that is actually from Paper Mill Direct. I've forgotten the name of it, but it's about a 240 GSM, 260, something like that, 240, 260. But it's very useful for things such as this. Um, right. Talk about yourself. If anybody got any questions, please feel free to, uh, <laughs> to ask now while I stick these things down. Not the most interesting bit, I know. Um... I'm hoping everybody managed to sort out their membership thing. So I had a few people saying they couldn't, they didn't have a join button. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there with Apple. But anyway, I'm hoping you managed to sort things out. Yeah, Vicky, you don't stamp and you don't make, uh, you don't have many pre-made sentiments. You mostly type yours on the computer. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, and also because I've realised, actually, because I've now got a laser printer... I can do foiling, which I'm, I'm a bit uh, mm, about foiling, but I like what it looks like. I just, yeah, I have limited success with it, but I did actually print off some. you saying that reminds me. I did actually print off a whole sheet, like this one here. I just printed off a whole sheet on the computer and then ran it through my um, uh, laminator with some foiling on top and foiled my own greeting. So I need to, I need to foil some more of them and then actually start using them. But, um, yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Um, yeah, so Sally, you, yeah, that's exactly what I shall be doing. So I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing in the video. But I thought about that. So you can use border dies, you can use punches, you can use all sorts. Uh, no questions. I explain it so well. Thank you. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I don't feel like I do, but that's good. <laughs> uh, you've got that paper pad too, Karen. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? I don't use it enough. I used to use it loads when we first got it, but then obviously you get other stuff, don't you? And you kind of forget about it. But I um this time round, I wanted to start with. I think I started with the base card. Did I start with the base card? Oh no, maybe I started the paper pad. Actually, I think I looked at the paper pad and thought, oh no, I could use that because I've got a twelve by twelve of it and I've got a um an eight by eight that's very much depleted 
but uh, I do like this one. So yeah, and it's sort of fitted. I think because the uh, the one I'm going to be doing in the um, the video tutorial is all seasidey stuff, and so then I was I was on a seaside thing, and so yeah. Right, so that's your six. That's your hexagonal one. Okay, so that's that one. Foiling is easy. It is easy to a point. I struggle sometimes. Um, yeah, I've not always had good success with it. But um, it, yeah, I think some, it, it can be. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but sometimes it doesn't always come out right. Um, right, so anyway, so that's the four and then the six, so the square and the hexagonal one. So now we're going to go really off piste and <laughs> thank you, Sally. And uh, <laughs> and we can do an octagonal one. So drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. Now, this one's slightly different because the tabs, it's not going to be as wide on the inside because it's an octagon. I wanted to keep it within the five by seven footprint. So I've had to go a little bit less so that it would fit. So for this one, you need eight pieces of base card that are three and a half by five inches. Yes, Karen, I would like to have, I have to say, the whole printing out on the silhouette cameo and that kind of thing, I, it does appeal to me. Uh, I just don't have an electronic cutting machine. I kind of would like one, but then the other half of me says I don't know how much I'd use it because I used to have a scan and cut and didn't get on very well with it. So I don't know. I don't know how well I'd use it. Right. OK, so on your three and a half by five, you're going to score half an inch this time, not an inch. Half an inch on the three and a half inch side. And you're going to do that on all of your pieces. So this was the measurements I came up with. Don't ask me for a six by six on this, please. I beg. Because what will happen is you will end up with hardly anything here to write your message on. I mean, it is possible, but I figured that 5 by 7 is going to be better um, because you've got more space. If you try and do a 5 by 7 portrait with this, you're literally going to end up with tiny little wings or whatever you call them, flaps. I don't know what you call them, but yeah, you're not going to, you're not going to end up with very much to write on. So half an inch on all of them. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and burnish them all again. So you really could do as many as you wanted to. You could do an oct octagonal one, uh, not octagonal, uh, a ten-sided deca, de decagon, is that right? I don't know, whatever a ten-sided one is. You could do a ten-sided one. You could really go up as long as it's an even number. You're sorted. Anything from four upwards in the even. I mean, there's probably a limit because obviously, you know. But this is your four, your six, your eight. Okay. Now, because these are smaller tabs, you have to be a bit more careful when you're sticking them together. But the process is the same. So whoever had the die... Yes, you're good to go. The only thing is with your die, obviously you're limited. I don't know what the footprint would end up as. Um, right, let's stick down. So, let's go ahead and glue our tabs again. So if you didn't see the first two, this is what we're doing. So we're gluing the tab and then with it facing as a valley fold, you're then taking the next one you just glued and it's sticking right next door so the cut edge of it sits right next to that folded edge like that okay and then we're going to keep on adding them on hi tracy um that's one good thing about this live stream is although i've done two cards already because they're all literally the same if you miss them then this is the process this is the same process so let's add this one on there we go. So you just so literally all you're seeing is your half inch tabs all the way along. So let's add this one on. There we go. And then the cut edge lines up with that folded score line. Just 
get rid of all my excess glue and we keep adding them on keep sticking them down and there we go next one is there there we go right we're making three different sizes of a pinwheel card so this is the four-sided pinwheel card so that's that one and then you can also use the same kind of um, panels to make a hexagonal one which is that one and we're now doing an octagonal one so it's the same so you always need a rectangle with for these these had a, a one inch tab but for the octagonal you go for a half inch tad, tab tab can't even speak um because then it will stick and this folds flat to a five by seven this will fold flat to a five by seven and the square one folds flat to a six by six so yeah so it's sort of quite easy to do um yeah thank you tracy um yeah so that's what we're gonna do so let's stick this down hi eugenie from the netherlands Got a couple of people from the Netherlands on. Kobe's on. And there's, I think there's another lady as well from the Netherlands as well. Right, so we just keep going with this basically. You just keep sticking them down. Glue your tab on the mountain side. Turn it over. And the cut edge goes by the score line of the one below. So you end up with all your tabs all lined up so one two three four five six seven this is the last one hurrah so there we go let's put some glue on this one like that and then that goes on there like that there we go you can use red tape if you want i just find it easy with glue because you've got a bit of wiggle room so then when you open it up that's you, what you've got. So you've got the start of it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down flat like that. So that you've literally got on this side, you've just got a big panel. You've got no like tabs showing. And here you've just got the one tab. And then we're going to put some glue on here. Now, ideally, you want all of this to line up. Now, I've gone a little bit off at the bottom here, but not enough that it's going to really make a big difference. So then we're just going to fold that one over the top and stick it down. And that makes your octagonal pinball card. So let's just give it a bit of a, get it nicely even. So there's your octagonal one. And then to decorate this, you need, are you ready for this? This is a mammoth crafting exercise. And again, I've cut out too many patterns, but never mind. You need eight mat pieces that are two and three quarter by four and three quarter. You need seven pattern pieces that are two and a half by four and a half and one white piece that's two and a half by four and a half. However, I forgot. Hi, Marie. You have got a few from the Netherlands. That's good. Fabulous. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. These papers are from that crafting companion pad, the one you saw at the beginning. Um, Office companion beginning of spring it's called really nice paper pad but that all the papers for this octagonal one is from that so i don't i think it's one of their new pads i'm pretty sure it's a new pad but yeah so let's go and stick these down and again i forgot to make one of them white because in my instructions it just says eight pattern pieces but you actually need seven you bought them, did you, Louise? Are you enjoying them? They are nice, aren't they? They really are nice. I love the fact, I love the colours, but I love the fact they're all pearlised. Oh, so nice. Not even like some of them are pearlised. They're all pearlised. So, yeah, I'm loving them. So I hope you're loving them too. Right, let's stick these down. Stick these down and I love as well because the the way that they do them there's papers like you can see here that are pink mainly pink with a bit of teal on a bit of you know lavender or whatever and then there's other ones that have got like a teal background um, so you can really mix and match them up nicely 
and on the back of them are kind of a, a more of a muted pattern so if you don't want like busy patterns all together you've got like a busy pattern and then a muted pattern so yeah there it's a very nice pad this is a very nice pad it was a bit of an impulse buy i have to say and i did second guess myself with do i actually need this pad but uh, am i going to use it but actually i've used it quite a bit because it's so lovely so i'm just going to go ahead and stick all of these down i think this octagonal one is probably my favorite out of the three pinwheels i do like the hexagonal one but i think the pinwheel one almost has motion to it because there's so many flaps on it i'm going to call them flaps i know they're not flaps but you know what i mean there are so many of these things and just think if you use a border die down the side of each one of these how nice would that be oh louise that sounds nice a double explosion box with a vase of flowers in the middle wow that sounds amazing please if you are on if you're in my google photos i see crafty icicles folder please send a photo on there if not uh share it on facebook and just tag me in i'm iced images iced image designs i think i am oh i don't know something like that i don't really go on facebook very often but occasionally i'll go on and just check see if anybody's tagged me in for anything um but yeah hi mary yes you will have to watch the first part later shame actually because if you join maybe like five minutes earlier you would have seen <laughs> Because I was sticking them, I've got, th we're doing three cards, but they're all, they go together all the same way. So you would have seen how it went. But anyway, never mind, like you say, you can see the replay and there will be a tutorial at some point coming as well. So if you don't want to hear all the chat all over again, you will be seeing, you will be seeing that. Um, yeah I, I i'm the same karen i like the hexagonal and the octagonal ones the best i just think they're quite elegant and i like hexagons and octagons anyway it's just it's a bit different so yes right so that's that like that and then the last panel yeah uh, instagram yeah perfect 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 yeah, that's much better. That's good. Do you want, yeah, same for anybody. If you're on Instagram and you make a card, you know, one of the ones that I've done, please just tag me on Instagram because it'd be nice to see them. And I do go on, I check Instagram regularly because I get quite a lot of my ideas from there. Um, and also people message me on there as well with ideas that they want me to make. So, yeah, do that. Okay, so that's that one. This is looking lovely. Look at the front of that. Oh, well, nice right so then we need to do these pieces so for these pieces you're going to need eight matte panels that are two and a quarter by four and three quarter and eight pattern panels that are two inches by four and a half so these are all going to go in there so this is what i was saying about the you know the way they match up so on here you've got a bit of teal but the background's pink and here you've got the background teal and the flowers are pink perfect mondo um i am now then let me think I think I'm Iced Images Cards on um, Instagram. I think I'm Iced Images Cards. It's on my, you know, on the thumbprint, that the, 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 not thumbprint, the thumbnail picture on all of my videos, it's on the bottom. So, you know, the, the first thing you see, it's got the picture of the card that we're making on the left. On the right-hand side is the title of what it's called. And below the title is my blog address which i don't update very often and also my instagram on there as well so have a look on there and it will be on there i think it's iced images cards i think that's what it is and oh, my memory's not good i'm sorry so yeah but i think that's what it is yes cindy i end up hoarding papers too i'm planning to have a bit of a a, a clear out because I have papers I just don't use and there's no point in me having them. Somebody else could have them. Um, so I am going to be doing a clear out at some point. There we go, Louise. Thank you. Iced images cards. There we go. I just, I can never remember all my different things. I wanted them all to be the same, but there's a cake shop down south somewhere, which is also called Iced Images. Um, and they actually came after I thought my name, thought up my name. 
because when I thought up my name, I did a YouTube, you know, Google, not YouTube, a Google search and nobody had the name Iced Images. But then, yeah, they've unfortunately taken quite a few of the handles on other social media platforms. So that's why I've had to add like designs or cards or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. So we've got the last few panels. It is quite a few panels to cut out, but it's quite helpful if you've got, you know, scraps that just happen to kind of fit. Then it's good. Right, here we go. Last few panels. And then we are done. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. I do really like this one, I have to say. I think the octagonal one is my favourite. Probably my favourite. There we go. Two more panels to go. Two more panels to go. It looks a bit like a book when it's laid flat. That's something else you could do, actually. You could do it almost like a little mini album. If it was someone's, um, you know, like, a, like you say, a 90th birthday or something like that, you could have like pictures of them on each of the flaps. That'd be quite nice. We could almost do it like a little mini album. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Right, last one. Thank you, Marianne. Yeah, they all, they, I just like the fact they all fall flat and you don't have to tell the recipient what to do with them. They, you know, they can literally take them out of the envelope and it pretty much says itself what it needs to do. Hockey dot, there we go. There's the last one. So, there's that one. So that's the octagonal one. So those, I got them from, Sally, I got them from a craft show at the Motorcycle Museum. But they are crafters companion papers called Beginning of Spring, is what they're called. I don't know, I think you might be able to get them on the crafters companion channel, you know. Um, if I find a link for them, I'm sure I'll be able to find a link. I'll put it in the description below afterwards, after the video is finished. The live stream's finished. I'll go online and see if I can find um, a link and I'll put a link in for you um but yeah yeah craft dash yeah they probably have got them as well so that's your um that's your octagonal one really nice really like the octagonal one i like the fact it's got a smaller middle as well if you wanted to you could shrink down the middle of your hexagonal one um i love the papers on this i love all of them to be honest with you let's do them in order there you go so there's the three that we need Move that in a bit so you can see it. There we go. So you've got your square one, which is your four panels, your six panels, and your eight panels. So there you go. I, I reckon you could probably, if you fiddled around with uh, maybe a scrap piece, you could do a half inch, like you have with this one here, on this one, um, so that your panels are bigger. Uh, and then you could then make maybe your footprint. Maybe that's the way to do the five by seven upright one, is to make your. Um, tabs half an inch i reckon and the same with this one you could probably do a five by seven four-way one um and just make that inside bit half an inch it would be very small but it would still stand up because you've got the the fins but yeah so yes there you go everybody i hope you enjoyed today um please don't forget to hit the like button the thumbs up um and also yeah don't forget to uh if if would yeah subscribe if you're not already subscribed please do uh it's free completely free to you but it really helps me out and i've finally i've hit 13k whoop, whoop. i wanted to hit 13k by the end of 2022 but i didn't manage it but i've literally just i think it was uh early on this week i think it was over the weekend actually i hit uh, 13k so that's awesome i'm aiming for 23k by the end of the year so uh i'm hoping i'm hoping that i can so if you're not subscribed please do um yes linda i'm glad you got to chat as well it's always giving people chat it makes it more that's what live streams are about they're just about you know chatting do you know what i mean <laughs> chatting and crafting at the same time um so yeah and the tutorial for this will be coming up soon yes thank you cindy i know i was like woo! <laughs> i saw i was like yes finally i've got 13k but yeah if you're not subscribed please do hit the notification bell and then that way um you get notified so every time i go live you'll get notified uh if there's a premiere which i might do a premiere at some point possibly now i kind of know what one is um yeah so yeah please uh 
I know. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> Get me party popper out. Um, but yeah, I've got a few more ideas coming up soon. Um, I've got two ideas. One I've done in a 5x7 and a 6x6. Six six. I've done both of them in both sizes. They will be coming soon. Uh, they're easel card variations, so I can't wait to do those. Um, and, oh yeah, the other thing as well with this, and I will mention it in the in the video that I do for this, but I just want to quickly show you. You are not confined, when you do this, you're not confined to just using rectangles. If you want to, you can use other shapes of die. So this was a, this one I did using a star die. So I just used a star die. And then what I did was I made sure that my star was five inches tall. And then because it's automatically going to be, you know, five inches wide either way, I then had to obviously cut a little bit off on the inside. But it's the same process of sticking it together. It's a bit more tricky. But, um, yeah, just to show you, you can use other shapes. And I'm thinking a circle as well might be quite cool. So... Um, but yeah, imagine that. I mean, this was just with a scrap card. But imagine that all matte and layered up. Like black and gold or something. Black, white and gold. Woo! That would be well nice. So yeah. So just to give you a few ideas to be on going on with. That's another another one. I probably will do a separate video for this. I'm going to do a video with these that we've done today. For those people who don't want to do live streams. But I may well do a shaped pinwheel card as well. Tutorial. Um, and have a couple of different shapes in there. So yeah, just a little idea for you to be going on with. And the other thing as well I want to show you before you all go is, I don't know if you remember my um, video I did with the craft tool from Coco Rosa Studio. And I used this die. Well, I went ahead and I haven't finished it, but I've made, I've put some of it together. So that's, that's some of them together, that is. That's, uh, how many pieces there? One, two, three, five, six pieces. So it's quite big, so it makes kind of like a bowl. If you've made another one on top, you could make it like a little lamp. You could put like a little um, battery tea light in it. And um, yeah, haven't finished it yet, but just so you know what to do with that die. Don't forget to use um, Louise 10 if you go on to Antonio Makes because it gets you 10% off. I didn't mention that earlier. And Coco Rosa Studio dies. Don't forget to use uh, Iced 20 to get 20% off. Right, I'm going to run away now. <laughs> and I'm going to go and record these, I think, and do some food shopping. So, yeah, have a good week, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Okie doke. I'm going to take you off the ceiling like I normally do. There we go. Oh, there we go. You can't really see it very well, but yeah. Right, I'll see you next time. Bye.